Whether you're new to Pro Show Producer or just need to brush up on a few basics, this video would teach you how to get up and running with your first slideshow in just a few minutes. It's free to try the software, so if you don't already have it installed, visit photodex.com and download a free trial of Pro Show Producer. When you open Producer, the first thing that you'll see is the new show dialog. This lets you choose whether you want to start a new slideshow using the wizard, start from scratch using the blank show option, start a new show from a template, or open a previously made slideshow. Let's select the wizard option to get started. The first thing you'll be prompted to do is to add any photos or video clips you'd like to use in your show. Click the plus button and browse your computer for content to use in your show. For this example, I'll select a group of images from this folder and then hit open. I'm also going to create a title slide by clicking the text button and adding some text that helps set the tone for my show. Once all the content has been added, you can rearrange the order of your slides by clicking and dragging. With all of the content added, let's move on to step two by clicking the next button at the bottom of the window. In step two, you'll add a soundtrack to your slideshow. Once again, click on the plus button to browse your computer for any audio tracks that you'd like to use. Pro Show Producer accepts a number of different audio formats including MP3, WAV, WMA, and more. When you're done, click next to move on to step three. Step 3 allows you to choose a theme for your slideshow. Themes are collections of pre-made effects that get automatically applied to your photos and videos. There are quite a few to choose from and Producer gives you the option to create your own custom themes as well. For our example, let's choose Momentum Dark, then click Next. Step 4 is the last step in the wizard. Here you'll set your show's name and choose an aspect ratio for your show. By default, this is set to widescreen. In the middle of the window, you'll find the option to adjust the energy level for your show. The auto option will automatically pick an energy level that syncs the length of your show to your music. If you choose custom, you can move the slider to determine whether or not you want a faster or slower paced show. Now, press create and watch as Pro Show Producer builds your slideshow for you. In just seconds, you'll see your finished slideshow as a preview. If you're happy with your show, click the next button. Or use the try again or back options if you'd like the wizard to rebuild the show using different effects or settings. When you're done with the wizard, click next. From here, you can save or publish the show as is, or close the wizard and fine tune your slideshow in the main interface. In the main workspace, you'll see your slides have been added to the slide list. You can change your slide or transition timing by clicking and entering a new number in seconds. By clicking on a transition itself, you can browse all the available transitions and choose a new one. You can also double click on any slide in your show to open slide options. Here you can add custom effects and animations using the built-in slide styles. You can also add captions and caption effects, create custom motion effect sequences, and much more. Be sure and check out some of our advanced tutorials for more information about customizing your slideshows in Producer. Once you're ready to output your show, click the Publish tab located just above the preview. Here, you'll have access to more than 40 different output formats for your slideshow. Everything from DVD and Blu-ray burning to uploading a slideshow directly to Facebook or YouTube. Just use the icons at the top of the screen to access the most popular options or check out the full list of publishing formats on the right side of the screen. Good luck creating your first slideshow and remember to visit our blog and YouTube training channel for more helpful tutorials about using ProShow Producer.